Hey, 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 what is up, YouTube? It is Supreme Guru here, back with another video. And of course, it's going to be a tutorial video on the iPhone. So, if you're new to iPhone and you don't have an iCloud email address, then this is the video to stay tuned to. Before I get into the sentence, I'm just going to tell you a little about iCloud. So why do you need iCloud? The main reason personally I think is because you can then start to download applications to your phone. So that's the first reason. The second reason is to be able to back up your pictures and videos and contacts to an iCloud device. For this tutorial, I'm just going to go through how you make a new iCloud email address. So let's get into it. First and foremost, you're going to want to go to your settings. And in your settings, if you have the latest software update on your phone, your iCloud option will be up at the top here. So you can see it says iCloud. Now, if it's not shown there, the easiest thing for you to do is type into your site settings iCloud and then it will bring you to let's see which one will go with this there and then that brings you to your main screen so um that's another way of getting to your iCloud okay so we're going to go through the first main option here sign in with your Apple ID so if you already have an Apple ID pop that in there and pop in your password if you don't then you're going to want to hit on this little wording here. Don't have an Apple ID or forgot it? Okay, let's do this. So then you're brought to the screen where it says create Apple ID or forgot Apple ID. I'm going to hit create Apple ID. This is going to ask me a few different questions. So I am going to start off with my date of birth. Da, 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 da. Yes, I am a Christmas baby. Okay, date of birth. Now what we want to do next is hit next. And then we want to put in our details. So I'm going to put in a Marie Makatamani. And here, that is my name, next. And then here we get two different options. So if you already have an email address and you don't want to make a new separate email address for iCloud, then you'll hit current, you'll hit use current email address. Then you'll sign into your email. Now, if you don't have an email address, then you're going to want to hit this option, get a free iCloud email address. So when here, this is going to be the name of your email address. So whatever you're going to put in the start, it's always going to be at iCloud.com. Okay. So I am going to type in Supreme Guru. Do you reckon it's been took already? I don't know. Let's guess. Okay, so this email address will become your new Apple ID. It cannot be changed later. Okay, let's do that. And then here we're going to put in a password. Now take note that the password may, must be at least eight characters long and have a number and a capital letter in it. Okay, so let's hit the next button. Okay, so it allowed us to have that brilliant. Now what it's going to do is ask you to set up three security questions. The reason for this is that if you ever forget your password, then these are the questions it's going to ask you. So take note on the questions and take note on your answers. So first, let's see, where did I go the first time I went on an airplane? I went to Chicago. Next, second question. What is your dream job? Let's just type in tech. Specialist. Oh, I can almost type. Brilliant. And then last question. In what city did your parents meet? And that is Belfast. There we go. Now you've learned a little about me. Next. And then in here, it's going to ask you to agree or disagree to the terms and conditions. I'm going to agree. Agree. Give that a second. So 
So your contacts on the Siphone will be uploaded and merged with iCloud. So you can merge or don't merge. I'm just going to hit merge. That's fine. And we're still signing in the iCloud. So you can see that it takes, doesn't happen straight away. There we go. So we're signed in to iCloud. Okay. And then I can go into my iCloud details here. I can go into my actual iCloud and you'll see these little options here are what you can back up. So you can turn on your photos to back up, you can turn on your email to back up, your contacts, da 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 da. And then that has been you creating an Apple ID. So if you enjoyed this video and you find it helpful, give it a thumbs up. For more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And thanks again for watching. Until next time, see ya.